So I keep getting the question. How do you know he's looking at people? I'm talking about Thomas John. Okay. He's a psychic, right? He says he's a psychic. So why would he need to look people up? He should just know. Well, you would assume. He says he's getting the information from the back seat of the car. You know, they got in the car with him, the dead person or whatever. So I keep getting this question because people are coming over to look at my videos and they don't have a lot of information about Thomas John. They're just seeing these clips, probably on TikTok. Hello, TikTok people. And uh, you see these short clips and you say, oh my gosh, this is amazing. He's talking to the dead. How could he possibly know? You're coming over to YouTube to find these longer format videos to watch on his show. And some of you are finding this channel and you're finding these videos. So, I mean, I've been doing this for years. So to me, this is like, okay, old school. I know how this is all done. I've written lots of articles about it. They're all been published, but you don't want to look at all those articles, right? You don't want to have to do the research. You just want to know how is he looking these people up and why and all that kind of stuff that I keep saying. So let me show you. All right. I will show you. Okay, so this clip was sent to me. Now check it out. He's doing a webinar. This is done a couple of years ago. And I want to see if you see what we found. Now, you guys, do you guys see that uh, sh uh, energetic vibrational scale? Yeah, I see it. Do you guys see it? Okay, so that is, he's screen sharing his um, desktop. And then we all do it. Well, anybody who's doing any kind of videos like that where you're sharing your desktop. And this is a few years ago. Did you see what was on that screen? If you didn't see it, well, you know, maybe if you're looking at this on your phone, you might have a hard time seeing it. So let me, let me pull up a screenshot of that. Here's the screen he showed. Here's his picture. Here's the energetic vibration scale. This right here is a reading list. Things you've bookmarked. Things you want to come back to. Let's see what's on here. So it might be a little blurry. I tried the Uber for haircuts, food poisoning, duration, and treatment, a night with spirit, Santa Barbara, signs, you're an empath, John David Purvis, what is this? This is a funeral chapel, he was born in 1951 and died in 2016, it's an obituary for somebody. Here is... The Advocate, Neil something, Cherish Women of Power. Here's a Somerville call uh, meeting. What's this? What is this? We found somebody in some place in Arizona on Intellis.com. Get full contact details. Now, I grade this out because I'm trying to get in contact with this woman. I found her on Facebook. I'm going to talk to her and ask her you know, if she had a reading with Thomas John or what, what's in com, and why would he bookmark an obituary here and this right here, this Intellis thing, what's in Intellis? Do you guys know what Intellis is? Intellis.com? This is Intellis.com. What he has bookmarked on his desktop. Look up anyone. Enter a name below to get started now. Access information instantly. Skip the wait. Being informed matters. Find people with quick results. Why would he need that? Why why does he have this bookmarked on his on his desktop? Why does he have to an ob obituary saved? 
for some guy. And why would he have be looking up some woman in Arizona using this website? I'm going to show you something else. Now, this comes really fast. So I'm going to show it to you, and then I'm, I'll show it to you again, and then we'll do a close-up of it. So keep your eye on the screen. Don't look away. Is that, is that true? Okay. And hold on one second. I just want to ask you a question. Is it still on the white? You guys catch that? Here we go. I'm gonna try it one more time. See if you catch it. Is that, is that true? Okay. And hold on one second. I just want to ask you a question. Is it still on the white? Did you guys catch that? Did you catch it? The second time. The beauty of using you know, you can pause and stop and look at things. Let's look at that closer up. What was it that popped up? He clicked on his screen. The little drop down menu does comes down. And then he clicked somewhere else and a Google box opened up. What's in that Google box, do you think? That's where you've had your past searches on Google. Let's see what's in that box because I have a bigger picture of it. Okay, here's the screen. This dropped down a second. But when you pause and you back up and you get it right to that second, you can see. So let's see what's in his Google history of searching. Okay. Google Alert, Psychic Thomas John. That makes sense. He has a Google Alert for himself. Failed open page, Thomas John Celebrity Psychic, 53 reviews. He's looking at some reviews on Google. Holly Misner obituary from Willamette, Willamette, Illinois, Chicago Tribune. What's that about? Google Docs, Google Dots. Phyllis Hudley obituary, Racine, Wisconsin, from the Wasine, Wasine Journal Times, Google search. What do you think? What's he looking at obituaries for? Why would he need to do that? Why does he have um, Intellis.com on his desktop as a, in his reading area on his desktop? Anybody know these people? Have they had readings? Well, they haven't had. These are their obituaries. Has somebody in the family got a reading and then... You know, they said they wanted to be in touch with their mom or their grandmother. What do you think? 